Hey people, Kate Slink here and what we're going to do today is have a look at Ash Magisteria and Stage 11 and 12. The quickest team that I think are on Stage 11 and also we'll have a quick look at the team I'm using to do Stage 12. So let's look at the first team that we're going to put out. This is again Stage 11 to begin with. I'm going to put it in a multi-battle one just so we can see the timings on it. So the first team I'm going to take out is I'm going to put Ice Wolf in. And keep the same three as always with Santis, Mary, and Natalia. So there's a, there's the wolf there. So I'm gonna pause there. So what you want to make sure is this team that they're built in certain ways. So Santis, you're gonna make sure she's definitely gonna be uh, ascensioned to she double poisons. That's gonna be a big help. I think you're gonna struggle to do it without that. So yeah, she does need to be at the ascension level. Mary, you're gonna make her big and bulky so she can take a hit. So she's gonna be high in health and defense just to make sure she can survive a few hits. Natalie, you're going to want her high crit because you want to get it to clearing through the first ways and also causing some damage in a boss later on. And the ice wolf's just there to put some buffs on so Natalie can clear the first waves and also some counteracting as well. So we'll, we'll look through as we go on anyway. So speed really does matter. So Mary first, uh, sorry, Santis first, then Mary, then the ice wolf, then Natalia. Now, as the waves, you want Natalie to be kind of for the bad guys. So you want to make sure you can clear the waves. When it comes to the boss, you want Nat Natalie to become after the boss. So yeah, you want to, I think the speed's about 121 to 125 around there. That's for stage 12 and for stage this stage, I think we're looking about the same as well. So we can play from there. So Mary, she's doing Invincible, it's a bit wasted now, which just helps with a bit of protection. So there's the four buffs. You want to make sure that Natalie has got four buffs so she can clear the wave. So that's the four guys easily gone. Like I said, high crits to make sure you can kill, kill them straight off. Again, Santis, Mary, and then there we go, Nat Natalie again. Four buffs. It's going to clear the waves with, with, with the high uh, crit. Now we're at the boss again. This is where it becomes really vital that you're at this boss on round three. So, so the rounds will kick in. So this should be round three, if I'm not mistaken. Round four, so round three, yeah, so going into round four. So again, the sequence is the Ice Wolf then. This is what I mean if I pause it there. So you've got to make sure that Natalie is after the boss. Because if he's before the boss and she starts killing off the flame guys, it's just not going to work. So we'll carry on. So there you are, make sure you can take a punch. Mary's going to be able to take that punch. Just so she can put the invincible on shortly. So the counteract damage, a bit of poison damage ain't gonna help. So Natalie now, at this point now, we're gonna make sure she kills two or three. So I killed, I think, two there. So you've got to leave at least a couple of little fairy guys, flame guys should say, to make sure in a minute when the big boss guy spits in his hand and he will, he will take some of them with him and he will lose some health as well. So we carry on playing from here. So there's a spit in the hand, chucking the flame bomb, some poison damage. And this is the point now, let's let, let stop it there. So you've got to make sure that it's invincible and let there's, as you're going to see, the health. Again, just take, go back there. Just going to ride it. So what you'll see in a minute is you'll see Mary, she'll put the invincible on. And then when he does his big hit, he kind of absorbs all the flame guys around him and then takes the damage. If you kill all them flame guys, he won't take the damage. So again, spits in the hand, puts a time bomb, flame bomb on, doesn't need it. A bit of poison damage, it's very helpful. There goes the invincible, and then you should take the damage any minute. Now there's a the damage, 72,000 damage, just having the flame guys there. They've saved, if, if they weren't there, they would have died completely by that hit. I think it's like over 100, so you've got no chance of surviving that without the invincible. Now the rest of this now is just making sure you get the damage in, getting the poison in, and the rest of it should be pretty easy. So there's a the poison damage. Mary, she's hanging in there, but she's done a good job. Some crit damage coming here. That's some big hits as well. Getting a last hit there for Mary. Flame guys are bad, but by this point now, it should be one more hit. Um, Mary's gone, but like I said, this is going to be game over. There he is. So that was pretty quick. If you look at the time for that team, 
So the time was two minutes and 14 in total. So that's a pretty quick, pretty quick round for them. Now again for the next team that are in being used the second most. So instead of the Ice Wolf, we're going to put William in. Again, this, he's going to be here just to put the buffs on. It's probably last bit better than the Ice Wolf because he's going to be a higher ranked. But again, he's just there to put some buffs on Natalie to make sure he get through the waves. And also, he's going, he's going to make him hit harder as well. So again, it's going to be the same sequence. Exactly all, all William is doing here is replacing the Wolf. And you've probably got a bit more survivability. And like I said, she's, she's going to be hitting the, the waves a lot harder. Because she's getting the damage increase. At the moment, I've only got William. He's not ascensioned yet, so he's only getting. They're only getting a forty percent damage. They're not getting the full sixty percent yet. Extra. So again, didn't take long to get through the uh, waves. Now we're at the boss. Now so we should be round three going into round four. As long as you're on there, it should always in sync work out well. William put the defense down. Santa's getting some poison hits in, and then Mary. A big hit there from William. Ah, oh, this was an interesting one actually. I, I kept this one on because it didn't kill them all, which I thought was interesting. It does help if you kill them all, but you can still do it if you don't kill them all. So there's the energy gone. There's the survivor, apart from William, because he kind of buffed himself, so he got rid of it. So that's got rid of a couple. So you are going to take some more extra damage from the fire guys. That goes rid of another one. Again, this is helping with William doing the extra counterparts. So if you've got too many of them on, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to hurt a lot more. But it still can be done without getting rid of all them guys beforehand. But you're going to need them to clear them after because they'll all have a hit. So there we go. We lost. Uh, just got Santos left over. We're not lost Natty there. This is only just survives. And it's game over. So that was a close one. And what's the timing on that one? So 2 minutes 17. So literally, what, about 3 seconds in it? And I thought I'd show the same team at stage 12, so they are hit a bit harder, so I had a few couple of changes here. All the change was, instead of the last breath, I put in the regen, just to give a bit of uh, heal over time if needed, as these guys are going to hit. And also gives the extra buff as well on Natalia, so it does help. So again, the same sequence, Santis first, and then Mary, putting Invisible on. Again, it's wasted this time, William. Getting defence down, just going to help clear the wave quicker. And Natalie there just should be clearing the wave straight off like that. Well, it was one surviving, but it didn't last very long anyway. Second wave, again, Santis first, then Mary. Then William doing his defence up. Natalie just finishing him off. Again, one left. Well, that was lucky again. You've got to make sure you clear them in two rounds. So we're on to round three. Again, like I say, this boss is going to hit a lot harder now. So Santa's first, presumably revival, just to keep people alive a bit more. Got hits of poison there, double poisoned. Mary getting a, a two pence worth in and hitting. Now that's where you've got to learn to survive here. It's close, it's close to Natalie here. again. The Regen is definitely helping. So is where you want to try and clear them now. And we've got rid of one. Would have been a bit easier if we got rid of a couple more there. But we can carry on and survive. Here comes the invisible now for the big hit, down to 37%. William, because he just buffs himself and just gets rid of it. Again, it's helping now with uh, the counterparts. The counterparts do have a big kind of help if it doesn't go your way. And there you go, Natalie's just got rid of that whole uh, 
the whole squad now. So, just got the last bit of poison now to go. Down to 7%, should be one more hit now. And that's it, going to finish if the crits were a bit high that time. I think this is the last hit now. It looks like Ralph Santis still alive. No, one more and that's it. And there you go. And it's pretty decent to be fair. Um, bit of armor. So that took that was stage 12. And that was the shortest battle. Well, that, that battle at that time was 2 minutes 27. So yeah, again, not too bad. So just to finish the video, I just want to show the heroes that use their stats. Just so if you do want to do it yourself, just roughly the stats that you are at. So first, obviously, we've got Natalia, who we're going to look at stats straight off here. So yeah, like I say, crit damage 192% and crit rate 81%. So she is crit crazy. So you really want to make sure to clear them waves, she's going to be really high. Health's pretty tanky as well, not just under 11,000, and attack's not bad as well. Attack's like over 3,000, so she can hit hard and crit hard, and that's why you want to just to clear them waves. And obviously, you need a bit of health and defense just to, just to keep her in that loop. As for gear, I've kind of got a mixed gear. I normally got her in the curse set in the content, but I changed the gear a bit with Natalia because you've got to get her at the speed at the right. Um, I think if we go back there at the speed again, so the speed is 123. So I think it was about 121 to 125 around there is what you need for a speed to be at, just to help to get through that first one. And the rest of the stuff is like, say, as bulky as you can make her. So that's why your gear's a bit changed, because I need to put the right gear in. Glyph-wise, as you can see, then she's at level 5. So we've got Santis. Santis again, she's fully glyphed out. Fully glyphed. I've got her max, I can't put any more on her. Gear wise, I've got her at Curse Set and also the Warrior, so she's going to hit hard. As for her stats, so yeah, I've got her health. You want to make sure she can stay alive because all this girl wants to do is put a poison on. That's all you need to do, keep putting poison on. So make her a bit bulky. She can hit half decent as well, 1,700. It's not the worst out there. Crit damage, again, 181%. Not really needed for the poison, but she can crit hard. Um, speed, 177. So she's pretty quick as well. So, yeah, you're going to want to really reasonably quick to make sure she's in the middle there. It's getting a the poison on. Next, we're going to look at William. William, I've still got a bit more work to do on William. So gear wise, I've made him just speedy, make, making sure he gets the, the first kind of buffs in first before everybody else makes the move. Glyphs, he's just got up to level five, just a one on. And as for stats, again, he could be a lot better. William has got a lot of work to do in. So, so 13,000 health, which ain't too bad. I'd like to get a bit more defense in him and a bit more attack, really. Crit rate is very low, 15%, so he's not going to crit much. But again, all you really need is to be is William. It's just to be bulky and quick. Speed 150, so he's pretty quick. Um, again, I think I can make that better with better gear. So get him a bit more health and defense in him. Just make sure he's going to last because he's going to help your team with support. So next, who we got next on the list is Mary. Now, I really love Mary. She's so underrated, and I think there's so much more she can do out there. I've got her again. She's fully ascensioned out, which is been quite lucky pulling her quite a bit. Um, stats, not the greatest of stats, really. Just health, 8,300 defense. Compared to, you, you could probably make this girl a lot more bulkier to survive. Because that's all you need her to do, is to survive until she gets the invisible spell out. So, yeah, just get as much defense and health as she can. Speed, 156. We're going to make her reasonably quick. So, you can keep her around that level as well. But the rest, rest of it, yeah, you don't really need. Just need to be bulky. As you can see, she's got very, she's got speed, and some of the gear. She's not, she's only level four glyph. So yeah, just needed to survive just a few hits. And here he goes for the wolf. The wolf. I'm not even put any glyphs on him. He doesn't need it. And I think he's got the literally speed gear on. That's all you need for him. Just some speed gear. All you need him just to survive and be quick and just get them counter counter buffs on 
um, and as far as the stats are really poor. But yeah, there's nothing much to uh, him at all. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my videos. If you are, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. I really do appreciate all the likes and subscribes. It really does help me to boost my channel up. Take care. Bye-bye.